FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, August the 2nd. And we're looking at the Dow down 478 to 39,868. That 39,600 area is going to be a really important support coming to next week. Uh, but what we are looking at is that the nine period moving average still is not a negative, but we have had this double top. I'll talk about this when we return for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Let me just show you this. I had spoken about this for, in, for my subscribers, I think it was probably last week in my overview, that there's a chance that we had the internal high, low and in the inter, uh, residual low in the Dow back in May and June, and that gave this really strong rally, and that we had an internal high possibly at this last round number high that we saw in the Dow, and that we were going to test it. Well, the speed with which we tested it and we came down, I'll talk about that. It's Technical Friday, so I'll get into that. So what we're looking at here is uh, the Dow is down 441. Very sharp move below the 14 period moving average. The weekly chart is still technically still very strong. It's the reason why I'm still positive overall. Looking at the S&P, where we did take, we did get out of our shorter term uh, positions. We had no choice. We wanted to do, uh, go on a profit, so at least have very tiny losses, and that's what we did. So now what we're looking at is the S&P is trading down 86. Now, this is going to be very important. There's a slight variance in pattern. The S&P is making lower lows and lower highs, and now it's a very sharp pullback below the key 5,400 support. We're at 5,362, down 83. That's a big, big issue. And remember, I spoke about this trend line. I said, but it's more important to look at the nine-period moving average in the weekly. I'll talk about that when we return. QQQ. There could be bounces here, but how they re resolve at the end of the day, at 4 o'clock is important. The Qs are down um, 9.95 at 449.54. Very sharp move down below the weekly uptrend line. That's really important. IWM was looking fantastic. And then, whew, talk about the rug pull. The uh, Fed pulled the rug under it, from under it. And here we are down 6.64 in the IWM. Oh, we've got to do this quickly. Bonds have had a huge move to the upside. Bonds are up almost $2. They're up more than that at 124 and a half. That's what I've been talking about. And I need to talk about that when we return because rates are usually the big influencer in the market. And I need to talk about that when we return. So Basil Chapman, Tiger Admissions Hour coming up. Technical Friday. See you in a few months. Check out Mobile.